We welcome our audience and our panelists to My Pride's first webinar. My Pride is an intersectional queer feminist collective based in Kolkata. Founded in 2018, we aim to work around the domain of gender and sexuality. My Pride visions to challenge all forms of repression and to work together towards creating a better and equal reality where diversity is celebrated. We would thereby like to extend our solidarity to all such entities who are currently revolting against extremist forces in any and all parts of the world. India celebrated the second anniversary of having decriminalized homosexuality on the 6th of September. This month also happens to be Bi Visibility Month. These events, combined with our love and interest for cinema and film theory, um, helped us structure the idea of a webinar focused on viewing cinema through the queer lens. Because the debates and discourses around the topic must be discussed a little more. <laughs> Where are the queers on real? Are they as real on real? Is blatant queer baiting suddenly permissible and now that the sodomy law has been altered? Queer questions are usually met with equally queer answers. Therefore, today we have decided on viewing cinema, but through the queer lens. Our panel is being graced by Professor Shenjuti Dotto and Professor Mojira Mukherjee. Our first speaker for the evening is Professor Shenjuti Dotto. Ma'am is an assistant professor at, department, at the Department of Film Studies at St. Xavier's College, Kolkata. She's recently submitted her doctoral thesis from the School of Women's Studies at Jadavpur University titled Her Face, Close-Up, Affection, Image and Alterity. Her area of interest is film theory, feminist film theory, film philosophy, body and sexuality. Today, she'll be discussing what do we expect from mainstream cinema when we desire queer film. I would request Professor to take over the discussion here on. Thank you, Priyadarshini. I hope all of you can hear me. Yes, uh, we can. I'm just going to pin your yeah. video so that everybody can see you. Thank you. Uh, one second now. From the operations team, pin ma'am's video. Okay, yeah, I see. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, actually, this uh, brings back a lot of memory because in 2018, when uh, uh, My Pride, uh, they first organized their event, I was uh, one of the speakers then. Um, I, I remember some of the organizers speaking with me um, when they were uh, trying to figure out what this platform could be, etc. Not that I was of much help, but uh, I tried to help uh, as much as possible whatever in, in uh, whatever way uh, uh, my uh, when when this time uh, Priyadarshini asked me to speak on uh, queer cinema and mainstream uh, uh, Indian uh, films uh, I, I wanted to uh, I wanted to speak on something general so that uh, so that we can uh, we can start with a few questions because the format was that we'll be uh, in the beginning we'll be speaking for some time and then uh, most of the times we'll be devoted to uh, to uh, question answer discussions etc. I think that is something that uh, I am uh, mostly looking forward to, and that is why I have uh, titled uh, this uh, this uh, uh, discussion uh, my section as uh, what do we expect from mainstream cinema when we desire a queer cinema. Uh, this, is, uh, this is something that I'm thinking that will help us, uh, help us to, uh, to uh, ask some questions, pose some questions, uh, and, and uh, perhaps uh, help us to think uh, what, what uh, certain categories are. Uh, by categories, I mean uh, mainstream cinema. Uh, and also queer cinema, per se. So uh, when uh, when I'm thinking that uh, if I have to if I have to uh, as uh, as 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 a viewer a regular viewer of mainstream uh, mainstream cinema of my country uh, that is India because I'll I'll, I'll uh, for now at least for today I'll be uh, I'll, I'll I'll try to limit my thinking. Uh, within uh, Indian mainstream films, uh, mainstream cinemas. Uh, so I'm thinking when uh, we, we try to imagine, we try to think about a queer film within the practices of mainstream film industries, uh, what do we expect first and foremost? Uh, do we expect a, 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 
a very radical intervention, as in uh, some some sort of films which are which will be which will be uh, categorized as queer cinema and will have its own uh, uh, rhetoric, will have its own functioning, etc. Or we are thinking about uh, a mainstream cinemas where uh, a mainstream cinema where just because uh, the, the, the same way we do not have a category called uh, heterosexual uh, cinema so do we do we need uh, 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 so do we actually expect or are we expecting an industrial mode of filmmaking where uh, the, the queer identities are quote unquote naturally integrated in the sense that i'm getting uh, enough representations i'm getting enough narratives that can tell my narrative that my, that can tell my story am i getting enough uh, enough visibility uh, and I'm not just uh, limited. I'm not just uh, uh, my identity and my narratives, etc. My lived experience are not just uh, limited within the quote-unquote issue-centric films, where it is only uh, when I'm thinking about queer cinema, when I'm thinking about queer people, then only those films are being made. So these are perhaps the two 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 things that we need to we need to think. And we need to discuss. We need to ask. We need to uh, we need to raise our voice for perhaps. I mean, from different positions, of course. Not that all of us. Uh, and this is where uh, the second section of, of of my title also comes in. That not that it's not that all of us desire the same uh, same film. When we desire a film, when we want to watch a film, uh, when we want ourselves to be represented, when we want a proper representation, be it women, be it men, be it children. Uh, be it of any 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 uh, um, socio-political uh, 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 people from different socio-political backgrounds, be it queer people. So uh, does it does it uh, uh, do justice to to my existence? That is one. And uh, in that case, uh, there's there's uh, what 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 comes to my mind is that the first thing that we can think about is uh, who's watching these films and whose desire and whose ex uh, expectations. So in that case, there are there are there are so many people and varied uh, in nature that the population who who watch mainstream cinema of any sort. Uh, their expectations are different, their understandings are different. And when they desire uh, a queer film, uh, or at all, whether, whether at all uh, they, they desire enough representation of queer uh, identities uh, you know, within the cinema, uh, that, is, that is another thing that we, we have to think about. So uh, um, if, if, if uh, in that case, if I, if I because it's a, it's, a, uh, uh, it's a limited time and, and I would rather rather uh, be happy to discuss than to, you know, uh, uh, in, in a lecture mode, uh, continue speaking. Instead of that, I would prefer discussing. That is why perhaps I can think of at least uh, of one or two, two ideas that, that, that immediately comes to our mind when, when we ask this question that what's my expectations are, one, and uh, what do I desire? So uh, first, perhaps let's uh, try to think what what is the notion of mainstream and uh, when when an industry uh, if we have an industry or uh, when um, some 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 films which 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 are uh, the dominant uh, modes uh, which follow certain dominant modes and methods of filmmaking and and gets enough support from uh, enough support in the sense financial as well as uh, on, on the on the promotion level uh, as well uh, production and uh, promotion when it gets a proper uh, support from certain bodies uh, what do we mean by those films what do we mean by 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 mainstream if not cinema uh, the the very idea the notion of mainstream uh, so uh, yes, one is uh, literally the mainstream is is the dominant is the dominant stream that that uh, is the stream that gets dominant uh, uh, the, the status of of of, of mainstream uh, among so many different different streams that that already exist. There can be so many discussive positions. There can be so many uh, different uh, uh, standpoints, but one among them become the dominant one, and that is where certain uh, political, uh, 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 ideological uh, interventions uh, uh, starts functioning. 
So when something is uh, perhaps when we talk about mainstream cinema, it, uh, we, we are also thinking about uh, some kind of films which always, and we have seen that, that there is a regular uh, debate and discussions around mainstream cinemas that which, which revolves ar uh, around people. The notion of people there become very important. That who's going to watch it? Uh, the, the, the concept of uh, mass people who will watch these films, which, I mean, the people who, who we do not consider to be, uh, to be the, the quote unquote, the intellectuals or quote unquote, the, the, uh, the people with academic interests the, uh, or, 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 or any niche group uh, or something like that. But that doesn't mean uh, we are considering, at least I am not comfortable in considering such people or any idea or any notion of uh, uh, people, mass, as an uninformed, as an uninformed audience or an uninformed uh, spectator. Yes, it, 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 it represents a mass, it repre represents a, a, a huge population who are perhaps not, not uh, uh, equipped with with uh, all the rhetorics that perhaps a film scholar would have, but they are the regular film goer, and uh, this is this is this is also you know similar to reading literature as well. I mean, we always do not we always do not think that I'm writing for a particular group or I'm making a film for a particular group. I'm making an artwork only for a particular group. I want to if I want to reach out, I'll have to have a proper idea of the mass and the people I'm trying to uh, address to. And, and and there comes the notion of mainstream, and uh, we have seen that that politics of mainstream cinema is that it tries to play on the idea of these people, and it tries to tell us, or it it, it tries to uh, it tries to uh, I, I I would say. Uh, motivate us to think in a certain way where we we believe that even if as if and and and, and these rhetorics are uh, to some extent a little dicey and at times dangerous that sometimes we feel I mean when we talk about this you know uh, popular culture we talk about mass uh, uh, popular mass etc we we tend to believe we tend to argue that perhaps I am different from that because I have certain, uh, I have certain uh, informed, uh, informed positions. Maybe I am open to certain things, but perhaps the uh, mass is not. Uh, perhaps uh, the the uh, the the mass, in the sense the the uh, uh, the the, uh, the the overall the people the the, the community in the sense the the uh, the community that. The, the the difference that uh, the difference that uh, that kind of uh, you know marks uh, the nature of this community as if they are not ready and etc. This is this is a very common rhetoric that even government uh, uses, right? Like uh, we have seen in censorship also that uh, in in different kinds uh, in different for, for different films, censor uh, the the censor board functions in a uh, in in different ways. I mean, at times it is like Indian people, Indian mass, Indian people are not ready for certain things. On the basis of that, certain ratings happen or certain th uh, scenes getting chopped off, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So how do I understand this spectator, this audience? Do I, under uh, do I, do I consider it as an informed audience that he or she or they will rather, uh, they will uh, make a choice and they'll watch these films and they'll, uh, they'll be able to make, uh, make meaning of these films? Or is it like there is an idea of, uh, of Indian people, and I think that they, uh, as I, as in the the one who's in power, they will think and believe that, uh, or or make us believe that there is a group. Even if you do do not belong to that group, you cannot desire any kind of, I mean, uh, whatever you want, because not everybody is okay, or not everybody is is in a position to accept that. So uh, this is something is is very important, perhaps for me. To, to to ask these questions or, or, to, or to, to, to ask uh, for a certain kind of film or to ask uh, or to desire a certain kind of film because uh, when I'm asking it or when I'm desiring it from a mainstream uh, mainstream uh, film industry perhaps this is some this is the first hurdle that we have uh, passed we have to cross that uh, perhaps I'm saying I'm, I'm saying that I, I desire a certain kind of film and and uh, the mainstream mechanism, the mainstream machinery might tell you that okay, even we are okay, we are ready with with newer narratives, newer 
uh, with uh, we are okay with newer narratives and newer stories and etc but do you think the people around you do you think the people of india is uh, is uh, uh, will be in a position to accept these films or not. So this is a very, very basic and a common uh, debate that goes around and it is it, and, and for, for perhaps uh, every, every, every new thing that we want, every new thing that we desire, new as in new for, for some, but I would, I would also, uh, when it comes to this uh, 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 queer communities and etc., I would rather uh, not use the word new because this is something that already exists. Now, uh, when when uh, mainst when we are talking about mainstream, uh, this is uh, if if we start from here that there is there is one uh, category that is who would watch it uh, to problematize that to problematize that group uh, who are going to watch this film. On the other hand, there is another thing that is what what a mainstream actually can can give you what it is capable of. Uh, whether it is capable or is it cap uh, or or uh, whether it is capable of giving me some radical films or some filmmakers are capable to work uh, on their own and make their own films or those films also fall into the narratives or or the tropes or or the ideological uh, uh, paradigms of of the mainstream uh, politics ideology and everything at that moment perhaps we have to think that what mainstream does what mainstream tries to do and perhaps for that we have to we, we don't have to we don't have to uh, think a lot almost all the literatures that we study about uh, or all the works that have happened around mainstream culture mainstream media mainstream cinema etc it has tried uh, and mainstream film of course it has tried to uh, harp upon at least one thing that mainstream films, mainstream cinema, or anything that is mainstream, it always tries to reinstate the existing mainstream ideology. That is something that we have to uh, perhaps always think about, that when we are expecting it from mainstream, we also have to understand that it is not possible for a particular mainstream film, a uh, particular mainstream cinema to suddenly, you know, uh, come up with something exceptionally new. Now here comes the interesting fact actually that when we talk about queer cinema or when we talk about queer community or queer identities, this is, uh, or, or even, or even uh, I mean, uh, even I, I would say 10, 20 or, 50, uh, 20 or 25 years back when one would even expect a proper uh, representation of women in cinema, all the times these, this is something that has always been uh, tagged as something new, something from West sometimes this bizarre uh, argument also comes up that what you are expecting is not Indian, but it is an import from the, from the, uh, from the West, something like that. But does, does my, I mean, is my desire, uh, is that new? Uh, uh, here, perhaps I would like to uh, uh, bring to a notice, and it's, 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 an, it's, it's a very, uh, it's a very, uh, uh, it, it's a known thing to us. We have seen what had happened post uh, uh, 6 September uh, 2018. That that I remember the next day I had to go to the college. The next day or day to next, uh, next to next day, uh, and suddenly I see, and I think all of you might have seen that our Uber app has turned rainbow. So interestingly, one day back, this whole community didn't exist as it. It was so uh, impossible for us to talk about uh, uh, people, uh, uh, the rhetorics and, and everything that went against uh, the verdict and etc. Uh, always spoke about, uh, spoke about how, how marginal this community is, how minor this community is. Perhaps it's a very handful of people, it's not many etc suddenly post this verdict and this is what you know uh, law and justice does uh, to us the moment certain things become an act or or a law um, incidentally uh, all the apps and every uh, mainstream uh, media and everything tries to appropriate it as if there was no lack as if it was not at, it was not absent yesterday right uh, that was actually funny that uh, in the morning when I'm going to the office, I see that my, 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 yes, my, my app and the map, it has turned, it has turned rainbow. I was actually, even, even when I was very happy, I was sharing the news, etc. even I got uh, uh, scared and this is what has happened because I, I really couldn't, I, I really didn't expect something like that. Now, it's a good thing. Yes, you are uh, approaching us uh, in the sense that you, you are trying to, 
you are trying to accommodate, you are trying to, uh, you are trying to uh, include, etc., etc. But at the same time, we will, uh, we should also not forget that uh, there was a huge, uh, huge absence of this presence. And, and at least we know from the verdict, at least those poetic lines that we have shared over and again, that when, 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 when the, the Supreme Court says sorry, that means uh, the nation should be sorry at least in that case, right? Thank you so much for saying that. Uh, uh, no, but, uh, and, and that, is, that is the thing, right? That when, that means that uh, the, the court or, or the justice system is not saying sorry to one person. The, the kind of uh, the kind of uh, uh, the kind of law or, or uh, that that uh, IPC 377 was it was not only it was not only criminalizing a sexual act it was criminalizing the identity in the sense that any sexual identities uh, that and 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 uh, in the sense that anybody's uh, private uh, life anybody's private uh, choice preferences etc sexual choice sexual preferences was criminalized but incidentally this is what this is where the idea of where identities come in incidentally even if uh, a heterosexual person is practicing certain uh, certain sexual uh, sexual practices which otherwise would be considered divine we have seen uh, uh, that at least empirically we have seen that it is not those people who are getting persecuted rather the queer people getting persecuted for their choices etc yeah. now the moment we are talking about films uh, this, is, this is also something interesting that when we are asking it now or today when we are trying to figure out that we want uh, a, a queer film etc etc what 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 would be the nature of this question to, uh, before 2018 when we would, uh, uh, I mean, perhaps if we ask this with, uh, before 2018, uh, uh, the first thing that we'll hear is, you know, they do not exist uh, and, and they're absent, they're in minorities. So we can only address it like, like for some time women didn't exist. So, so uh, queer people also didn't, uh, don't exist and, and we can only address it as uh, sometimes in a very benevolent way. Uh, perhaps we can think of some films who, uh, that will, that will, uh, 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 depict their lives, their problems, their troubles, nothing more than that. But something has definitely changed after 2018. And again, however, we are, being, we are always very critical about mainstream cinema, uh, not cinema, any form of mainstream uh, uh, ideological positions or mainstream positions. Uh, even then, uh, after, uh, after 2018, perhaps we are in a position to ask, and I'm definitely hopeful that we will get something. But, 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 what we will get this is also something that we have to think that we have seen that either uh, see if, if we if we are expecting some radical changes i'm not very hopeful at least in your future and i'm not actually help, uh, hopeful when it comes to the practices within uh, the mainstream uh, uh, mechanisms or or the machineries if you are using that but what i what i can uh, what i i believe rather this is this is also a, a position that i would like to uh, I would like to uh, defend that it is possible to support and those possibilities are open those possibilities are there and we have seen over and again in different forms of cinemas that filmmakers who even be working within the mainstream system have have um, uh, you know they have been able to give us some films which even defies the ideology perhaps uh, mainstream the, uh, the notion of mainstream subscribes to but yes now if I if I because we'll we'll try to limit it uh, in in 10 15 minutes i yeah. guess i have already uh, crossed that uh, it's but if exceeded but it's okay yeah yeah just one or two minutes is that when we it's are exceeded we have yeah, to wrap yeah, up yeah so so when we are uh, we are uh, desiring this films perhaps one or two things if we can if we can uh, think about is that what what am i what am i uh, desiring am i uh, will i get uh, will I get that beautiful couple formation? Even if, even if, uh, I mean, with all its problems, the problematics that it has, the 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 way a couple formation is shown, a couple is formed in a uh, in a uh, mainstream cinema. Even uh, if if I agree to that, will I get uh, that representation? Perhaps that is one thing that I desire. One may desire. Otherwise, why would one, knowing the fact? that, that uh, what the system of marriage is, why would even uh, one community ask for, for a legal rights to get married? Because that is the basic right. I need that right. It's up to me whether I want to go ahead or not. 
that is something perhaps is is that one uh, is that what i'm expecting i desire i want to see i want to see perhaps my image something something of of my like as my uh, screen surrogate that that i can identify with it that i can worship it that i can see it i can identify with it and sometimes also fairy tales right we, we we need fairy tales we need stories we need love stories we need so many things for us to sustain to be happy etc i would also love to see uh, say for example the way a child uh, has so many options watching disney watching you know uh, indian indian cartoons etc where where uh, the film uh, ends with a happy ending with a boy and a girl who has a promise of the future perhaps i would also think about uh, i would also desire a film a queer film from the mainstream industry where there will be a promise of a proper queer couple uh, uh, quote unquote proper of course because again uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, i don't know what any form of proper couple is but again uh, a mainstream will have this idea but i i am desiring that i'm desiring all all the uh, all the things that i deserve i desire all the things that i uh, that i uh, expect uh, for from life to be represented in the mainstream cinema because i am thinking that mainstream cinema is something that tries to uh, always tries to reinstate some uh, something that that exists in the society and because the law permits it i hope to we'll see it someday yeah sorry i it was it's okay it's fine it's fine these conversations always stretch you know you can't yeah. you can't put a pin on the time it's not possible to do so and we usually don't like to put a pin on it so it's okay no, no, no. i found um, some very interesting anecdotes from what you said and since the conversation has stretched and i will forget so i will just talk about it a little as see of course when i say as a queer person i am not gatekeeping i think every queer person has their own perspective our desires are different in of course the the couple that you talked about our desires over there are different and of course queerness does not limit itself to which i am sure you'll agree does not limit itself to couple formation like the supreme court thinks uh you know when the supreme court says that uh, love is love love has won i don't really think love won because intercaste marriages are still a problem that is also love and that is also actually out of the normative in a way it is also queer if we go back to the dictionary term of it so uh, of course the, the 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 verdict was very was not as nuanced as it was marketed in the mainstream and by the mainstream uh the verdict was mainstreamed is what i think the verdict did not include a lot of um testimonials because it was not it it was not polished enough for the mainstream the verdict or the judgment or the uh, court proceedings did not have i don't know koti koti folks they did not have as many trans folks as we would want there to be uh, the community of course realized that the judgment in order to get the right and the legality to be loved we had to somehow be boxed into a mainstream so we as much as of course we want we desire to be desired by the mainstream but we don't know if the mainstream really desires us the way we desire them let's put it like that so um taking that uh, taking that thought forward i also really liked what you what you said about um, the nation the idea of the mainstream and also in a way india what is india ready for or what is the nation ready for because i i remember nivedza menon menon consistently saying that the nation is a daily plebiscite so if the nation is a daily plebiscite and and the mainstream is something india needs to be accommodative of then in a way india is saying that i don't think i'm ready to be accommodative of queer folks until more laws come in so i think that is also of course quite problematic about about the apex courts and courts in general so um of course i don't know if this is sedition to say so but one can have opinions at least so far and one will exercise the right to talk about it so moving on i would really like to thank you for everything you said because it was and uh, a personal shout out from the community for saying she her him his and they because i'm non binary so it's always nice to hear they so uh, thank you um, of course of course you don't I, want to i guess i'm also learning from you all <laughs> it's we don't just my mother come up with a word you know, right <laughs> if you think about it my mother's very mainstream so when i came out to her she just said i don't really know what you're talking about 
but you are who you are so it's okay that's essentially what we want from the mainstream i think they should like talk to my mom i don't know but she also does not understand anything about non binary she was just like acha data bolte hobe thik ache that is all she said so something as simple as that is usually complicated by burden some normative expectations of like how you said you know our expectation of how couple formation should be maybe for queers it's not a couple maybe it's people who desire each other maybe it's something else um so uh, yeah it's it was very 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 interesting and heartwarming almost to hear you say what you said so uh, <laughs> moving on uh, our second speaker for the evening is professor modhuja mukherjee uh modija modija de is a professor of film studies at jadavpur university kolkata india she is involved with art practice curatorial projects and filmmaking she is the author of new theaters limited the emblem of art the picture of success which was published by nfai pune in 2009 she is the editor of oral films oral cultures essays on cinema from the early sound era published by ju press in kolkata in the year 2012 um and of the award winning anthology voices of the talking stars the women of indian cinema and beyond by sage or sri in new delhi and kolkata in the year 2017 she has co-edited popular cinema in bengal genre stars public cultures published by rutledge in both london and new york 2020 and uh, industrial networks and in cinemas of india shooting stars shifting geographies and multiplying media it is a forthcoming published it is a forthcoming publication it's coming out in the year 2021 and it's going to be published by Rutledge. Her graphic adaptation of Kangal Malsat was published in 2013 by Shobdoshi in Kolkata. She is the writer of the films Ekti Tara Khoje uh, 2010, Kissa 2013 and Carnival 2012 which was written and directed by her had premiered at the 41st International Film Festival Rotterdam. Her second film Deep Six is in post production and her present documentary project explores women at work, film industry under construction. She initiated Tent Theater for Experiments in New Technologies, Kolkata. It's an art platform, and it was initiated in the year 2012. She's the curator and director of Tent Little Cinema International Festival for Experimental Films and New Media Art, Aka Tent Biennale. Today, she will be discussing looking for queer figures in Indian cinema. I would request Professor to take over the discussion here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nidoshini, uh, and uh, you know. Everybody else here. Um, it's a it's a pleasure to share thoughts that you know, I've been making notes uh, uh, since a few days. So um, you know, borrowing a you know, sort of putting the thread some of the issues. You can hear me, right? Uh, we can. Could you just be a little louder? Like okay. the mic, mic is catching your voice a little louder, maybe. So right. is it is it fine now? Yeah, absolutely fine. Okay. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, picking up the threads, uh, some of the issues that uh, Shivjyoti brought up, the question of ideology of the film, or and particularly the issues of viewership, and that the question of queer may not necessarily be new, but Marketed as me, so I I sort of want to reverse that possibility, in the sense that uh, the question of queer uh, is not necessarily given. So if if I were to answer Shadi's question, uh, uh, and uh, say that what kinds of queer films do I desire, then I would say that I I don't give a damn or You know the effort. I want queer filmmakers because I am looking at. Uh, you can say fuck. It's okay. It's, it's, it's a, yeah. It's a, yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, I mean that's fine, but I I could say that uh, it's not a problem. I'm just being a little dumb. Uh, so mm, yeah. So uh, I am looking at. Uh, uh, so in some ways, you know. I I am looking at the question of uh, who makes films, and in that sense, and by making, I'm not only talking about directors. I'm talking about the entire sort of body of workers that goes into the production of film. You know, where about three hundred people are there, so it is impossible that, or there is a possibility that every film that is ever made be made in the mainstream Bollywood or in Bombay cinema. There has been at least a, a certain number of queer people 
in the queue right so uh, it is it is it is if we are so if we are not looking for what is expected and if we like you know in some ways if we if we turn if we uh, refocus our gaze or our practice of reading and and sometimes you know i i love to do this like a little playing a detective game as it were to look look for the clues look for the sort of a, a various little details both within yourself and within the text so it is you know, for you know um i just want to share a bit of a, and, and how i'm approaching uh, today's discussion is that when i was writing this uh, some of you may have seen it um uh, and uh, um i have been asked you know uh, this question about the power the the central character um, played by the first one and uh, how 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 did i approach it and i would um, i always thought like you know i never approached it. it it was always already there like you know i think i didn't even have to how what will power do you know, when you are writing a script in terms of uh, um like what will be the dialogue what will be the gesture what will how will power say what how will power react to that situation because uh power's gendering by the family is you know is as much in all our experiences uh and hence uh you know this question of gender fluidity as well as sexual fluidity that comes in what was actually so um, there was what power was experiencing was not outside my zone or my you know orbit as it were actually more difficult was umber the character played by ifan because i did not understand how how this person could be so brutal and i kept thinking of of an uncle of mine and that's how It, it came because you know I I really wanted to demolish the character for every scene I wanted to sort of hurt him uh, and and uh, in fact I fought with Anup Singh a lot regarding the ending and finally you know, my version of the ending is there but that is not the point so why I'm saying this is because in the last few years I and Anup have been working on another script which is about a male dancer who dresses up as a woman. and he performs uh, the rasleela uh, in and it is so there are many other issues and it's still working on it. so during the research of that uh, script i have been looking around you know looking a lot of uh, the indian miniature and the medieval paintings so the ragmala the kamya paintings the deep gobinda which points towards both gender fluidity and sexual fluidity so something that priyadarshini was saying that you know when you are talking about the queer it's not necessarily the cup hmm? so there are the uh, rasleela is a very good example of that you know also the figurations of the body in those paintings which do not may bear the markers of gender you know uh, and um, krishna dresses up as radha radha dresses up as krishna they are playing these gender roles and and uh, many things so uh, amidst all this uh, this is connected so i'm getting at a uh, point uh, at which i want to arrive so i this is also connected so <coughs> gradually this research for the film rati that we are writing got connected to the research project that we recently mentioned women at work or women slash work and i i kept focusing on the question of work How do you remember? If it is a twelve-hour shift, if it is an outdoor, you know how does let's say the assistant director who, who in many the production, um, you know, uh, designer, uh, maybe a woman. How how does it 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 sort of you know what does what does it mean for a woman for a night shift outdoor without toilets, uh, standing there because you're an assistant, you cannot expect a chair. this and and in let's say predominantly a, a male sort of thing it is in through this research what is quite clear that queer uh within courts uh, um queer people uh are employed or get jobs in at least 
two two departments of in the production of cinema. One is the costume department, the other is the dance coordinator. Mm -hmm. And that is what I saw. Uh, I have been working a bit on on the choreographers and dancers and dancing body and physicality and all that. And uh, I mean, it's it's a research that began last year. So um, and um, so the dance factor, which is an integral aspect of of uh, you know Bombay cinema, Bollywood cinema, Hindi cinema, and so on as whatever mainstream cinema, popular cinema, whatever categories and labels we want to give it. It is. It has been an integral part, and um, if we if we do some research, it, it is clear that uh, one of the influences uh, that has been there since the beginning, let's say since the thirties, from the times of the Chokis, is the Kathak dance form. So um, Kathak was. I'm not going into the history of Kathak. Also, I don't know that much. Uh, I'm not an expert in dance, but I'm, my interest is in, in the question of the body and in the question of work and and how does you know how does let's say uh, like a clue how do can we can we really find a clue uh, in this sort of what is seen as a image? So um, so Kathak uh, was a folk reform. Then in the especially uh, with the fall of uh, let's say the Nawabs, it becomes uh, you know many of the Kathak court dancers. Uh, they became notch girls or the kotha and the kotis in the form, and uh, so it was in that sense the courtly form of Kathak, the Radha Krishna love and all that you see is is sort of quote unquote demoted, and and you see the formation of the notch girl. Uh, this is important for us. Because uh, so on one hand, post independence, there is a reinstatement of Kathak as a classical dance form to the Sangeet Natak Kadari. On the other, somebody like let's say Birji Maharaj, somebody like Lakshmi Maharaj are commonly, regularly choreographing films. So when let's say, so we are so uh, it is so it is something that I want to look at. The male choreographers in this heavily sort of uh, sexualized representation of it, um, and uh, I mean, uh, I must also uh, want to thank uh, uh, Sarath Hassan Manto's, um, you know, uh, brief uh, story on Sitara Devi, and I was so angry with Manto that I had to do a lot of research on uh, Sitara. And I am at the moment you know, possessed by her and her sort of energy and sexual power. And I, uh, um, uh, I am very angry at the left intellectual men in general. I am very angry uh, with with this environment. So, uh, and I forgive Manto because he is a Pakistani. That's the only reason I forgive him. Uh, but uh, the point is that uh, uh, dance can be one channel through which we can enter. And find a clear figure. So, Birju Maharaj, for instance, uh, the Kathak master who choreographed Sanjay Leela Bansali, Dev Das, Bajirao Mastani, uh, also choreographed for Satyajit Ray's um, Sakran Shrikhilari 1977. And uh, I will briefly talk about Sakran Shrikhilari because uh, I have been forever in love with uh, Vajedari. And that's a different story. I will not go into that. But let's talk about this one. Because how I'm saying, how we can read the text. Maybe the clear figure was there in this. Like, you know, I have studied comparative literature, I have studied ideology much, and, and you know, all that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, we were trained to look at. Sakurinshi Kulari from the class question. That, you know, it is Penchan story, it is about the Nawabs, it's a critique of Nawabs, it is an excess, or, you know, how the, how Vajadari Shah was an excessive, and that particularly you can see the, the Prime Minister, his gaze towards when uh, Vajadali is, you know, uh, is part of a dance performance. You can see that kind of the directorial gaze, the Bhagavad gaze, 
and so on the the elite gaze looking at this man so suddenly now in the new context um, um i uh, look at so we were trained to look at the figure of uh, wajid ali shah as the self in the debauch you know nawab and and the and the emperor is self engrossed involved in singing dancing writing and uh, so on uh, but what interests me is the story that where he says that he had wives many wives uh, you know harem of about 400 uh, uh, wives also he had transgender partners and uh, what is referred to as mutua wives or wives for a temporary wives for enjoyment it's a, it's a, it's a contract you know mutua wives is a contract so you agree to be with the person as long as your love or lust survives so um, i would like to talk about uh, so the character of uh, outram played by richard ofindo says that he really hates this and he says i hate that fat king you know that that is the that that is the expression this he is eccentric he is erratic he is promiscuous uh, and so on so what this actually is uh, and wajid ali shah actually didn't fight with the british he is his people were not unhappy with him everybody was drinking everybody was you know like having a good time uh, it is because uh it he loses his kingdom because he is queer and that is the decision it's a simmons report that the book the film and the story sort of that was to it's a simmons report is is about the uh, driven by a victorian morality and it's not it's not victorian morality in a metaphoric sense it is between victoria is there and it is a victorian morality in a in a literal sense because we are talking about 1856 a year before the first war of independence so uh we were what we see is that um he basically you have a what is described as a quote and quote fat king who is uh, has many lovers and he is also a writer he is he writes poems he writes songs and he's a dancer he is wajid ali shah is really the exponent of kathak dance uh, and and that's how that is the gharana of actually lakshmi maharaj the directly and we can of course the dance kuti discuss uh, a lot about uh, the hegemony of the lucknow school but anyway we can read him we can always read his text so uh, i will talk about two scenes one is that when this news about you know that and i hope you all of you know that wajid ali shah was uh, exiled in calcutta and uh, uh, you know metia buruj and so on so and he he finally got to bring his all his wives and lovers and musicians and and the uh, every everything so uh, you know, so uh, in that sense so um, wajid ali shah of course what is interesting is and um, why i am referring to uh, what is it as him is because he he is describing himself as a man he says uh, like there's one beautiful scene where he sees the um, you know his minister crying and he says uh, why are you crying men can only cry if if there is something in literature or something in music you know either words or music can bring tears to a man's the uh, you know eyes otherwise you can't cry so uh, that's so there is there is i mean what i'm saying is that uh, of course when we are talking about queer and uh, or, i mean you would be more sorted but we are all allowed our own position of of the femininity you know being a uh, physically a man and um, loving both men and women or being a woman loving you know uh, everybody um, yeah uh, and and in the sense that i was going to say everybody else then i realized that i hate people so much so i stopped i left that sentence incomplete so so 
there is two scenes that I want to talk about. One is when he receives this, uh, but Ganesha receives the news of, of uh, that his kingdom will be annexed. And uh, he just, he just uh, remembers a song. And what he discusses is that, do you remember that song? Do you remember that I spoke about Lucknow? And the other is, when to, there is a, there is a, like, a, two, three sequences. At one point, he says that he will put up a fight. The next, at the other point, uh, it's, and it's a beautiful scene uh, in the sense that the, say, the sun is setting on our, and uh, he is, uh, he is, um, um, you know, he had decided that it's, it's actually an emergency. So the sun is setting and this, you know, the light of the second sun is on his way and it's a close up and he is, he, he is listening to one of the ministers coming and say that, you know, all the Jaivikas are ready to support you and there are about, uh, uh, you know, one lakh uh, uh, soldiers. So shall we fight and shall we try to protect our kingdom? And he says, no. I suddenly found a song, Jab Chod Chale Lakhne Lagi. And you know, so it's, it's, it's like, it's a song that indulges him and he cannot fight. He says, please tell the soldiers to be disarmed. And he, he orders that. Uh, in fact, he raises this question, you know, that tells his minister, Jao Jake Unko Richmond, you know, Outram Ko Jake Pucho, uh, that uh, is there anything under Victoria, who can write, who can sing, who can dance? And is there any, are there any subjects who can sing the songs written by Victoria? Is, is Queen Victoria a poet? Is she a dancer? Is she, you know, capable of, of, of this kind of, of pudding? So, uh, these are the moments when there is, there is no, no, so, so uh, there is there is no dialogue really. The Rajagalisha's, uh, you know, physical, sexual, as well as uh, you know what, what because he is also uh, working through multiple art art forms. So he's a singer, he's a dancer, he's a um, he's also doing theater, and and uh, so it is it is. There are there these fluidities, you know, in, in art, in, in gestures, in, are, are uh, interesting confluences that you need to be able to locate, find. Uh, so, um, to sum up, you know, um, there were many dance masters in Bombay. And uh, it is very interesting how Saroj Khan whom I would also think of here because uh, you know what they said that is that uh, call me Master G. Don't call me Saroji. Call me Master G. So uh, some you know people like Lachumara, the Kolga Mughalas and Pakiza. It's very interesting as to how uh, the if you have seen Pakiza, the opening song in in Logone. Uh, that is performed, you know, choreographed by Lachumara, is there in a uh, 1943 film called Abri, uh, which is in which Sitara Devi is there. That's how I found the song. But it is performed by a male actor, sung by him, called Akhu. So there is, and he puts up a dupatta and he performs in the logo, le, 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 le. So there are, there is, there's a question of gender fluid. And, and there's a question of, you know, that at some moment you are she, at some moment you are he, at some moment you are they, and you are, you are, you know, and it is and actually, actually there, there are, there were right from the inception, film industry, many people uh, who, who would today post uh, uh, 2018, uh, you know, want to claim themselves as poor, well, but uh, there was there was no way in which probably 
they would address it or or how the how the larger public would address it. So, um, in fact, what I'm trying to say, why I bring up uh, Pakiza, why I bring up you know, Satyajit Kilari, why I bring up her, you know, um, Abhi, even is because that we also have to understand this moment of modernity, which creates these binaries, you know, and and we have to understand why I, I was talking about you know, the you know, the you know, Ragmala paintings, the Gita Govinda, and the entire you know the entire Vaishnava Dabhan are written by so-called men, uh, and uh, but it is it is all uh, the Radha Bhav. So uh, the the sexual and the gender fluidity, in fact, was probably a norm in in many cultures. If you if you take if you, if you just take a different route, you know, if you are not looking for let's say the couple like uh, um, Raj Sundar, but if you look at look at other things, uh, what other things are happening? Who is who is doing the costume? Who is doing the uh, you know the choreography? Who is how 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 is the light done? Um, that is the problem because that is the problem why many feminist films are actually lighting up and shooting the woman uh, in a very masculine, through a very masculine gaze. The light is like that because you're working with two and you have to constantly fight those issues. So uh, the question of that, you know, if you think of the moment of Vajid Alisha, if you think of even earlier, the Bhakti moment, you know the medieval period. Maybe this it was it was natural. You know, the question of fear was natural, probably as it appears in the paintings, as it appears in the songs. You know, and it is it is normal. Like nobody, like uh, Rajadarisha asked that my my subjects are not unhappy. They're singing my songs. Nobody came up and say told me that you you were queer. He almost says that. That Majesa who Uswaji se unka unhone kabi koi shikayat nahi ki. Unhone maan liya Majesa who. He doesn't say actually the, the dialogue is not that I am a dancer. He says Majesa who. What does he mean? So it is, it is, you know, it is possible in another world that uh, being queer is just, uh, um, you know, an ordinary thing. In the day, so uh, yeah. On that note, so um, I I stop there. So uh, just to say that uh, maybe we can uh, revisit a number of films uh, and uh, find the clear figure somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, um, this last line reminds me of, and that was like just. That was so much queer baiting. I almost wanted it to happen on screen. Like sometimes you see two characters and you're like, why are you not <laughs> just being queer? Like, you know, I can see it. Like, you know, our gaydars, we have this thing called a queer dar gaydar, whatever you call it. It just gets activated while we watch cinema as well. Because we're like, Dikh hai hume, bol do. <laughs> you know, it's almost yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> bol do, it's okay, bol do. Koi kuch bolega. Tum screen mein ho, hum bahar hai, bol do. It's almost like that. So um, I was watching Sonata by Aparna Shin. There's this moment, screener, there's nobody. It's just Aparna's face is like this and Shabana's face is like this. And I'm like, come on, man. You guys literally stay together. You guys love drinking together. You guys, you don't need to. Also, this whole idea that there has to be sex for there to yes, be sir. desire. Yeah. Or there has to be sex for there to be queer desire is so, so... It's so when a irresolute asexual and aromantics feel it the most. I feel. I have a friend who is asexual, and who says that I don't even know how it is to be me because I've never seen how it is to be me. It is so important to see how you can be, you know. And when I see someone like you know Oparna and Shabana going like here and then going like, oh, we we're friends. We love to live together in Bombay. We don't have boyfriends. We don't want them. I'm like, really? <laughs> is it? Is it so? We all relate. So <laughs> it's like that, you know. So that is one. Then when you were discussing dance, I'll tell you something. I particularly, of course, as a person, as I said, I can have an opinion, and my Dida has a stronger opinion on this. So uh, Dev Das, 
by Sanjay Leela Bansali. Uh, that beautiful song where those two women are dancing. That is more queer than Ek Larki Ko Dekha Toh Aisa Laga. Yeah, because I that, think so. <laughs> that is Birju Maharaj, na? Because the choreography yeah, is Birju yeah. Maharaj. And precisely, and it is in a very, very long sort of culture in Kathak. I'm going to cut you once. I'm sorry. I was supposed to notify everybody about something. Uh, uh, our, uh, our chat box is open for questions. So you can pour it in and you can ask any of us any questions that you want to. You can redirect it to any of us or particularly Modjati, however you want. Okay, now getting back to the conversation. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's precisely what I'm... Uh, that's the... That's precisely the point, you know, uh, that you have to just think, uh, you have to just sort of, you know, uh, take uh, uh, the, maybe the heterosexual cover, uh, as it were. I mean, it is heteronormativity at its best to assume that all the characters in a script are straight. Like, they don't need to yeah. perform queerness to be yeah, yeah, queer. Yeah, yeah. They can just yeah. be queer and not say I'm queer. Like Kapoor and Sons, yeah. the, the character was gay, but never said gay, okay. Like, was this avoided it? Like, you know, my parents avoid using the word sex when they want to ask me questions. It's almost like that. My mother's watching. I forgot, but it happens. <laughs> like, when they, this distance. And I was, and that was so blatant because the, the man actually comes out in the film. Yeah. But even while coming out, the person is so scared to, maybe it's because of the sense of word. Of course, it's because of the sense of word. But, you know, yeah. like, just does not say the word gay. Just doesn't say it. May, again, something like what Wajid Alisha said, like, this is who I am, but does not specify the who. Also, no, this, no, but of course, you can't, it would be very weird. If these are different. Wajid Alisha would say that I'm queer. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah. uh, also, he is, uh, like, you know, uh, but uh, that is that is what uh, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, you are. Uh, it is it is our reading that it is not like you know. We cannot expect that we have a agenda and we need a film clip to prove that. It is it is not the point. It is it is that if we yeah. are able to ask film studies uh, students, if we are able to read the film. Through the through the queer lens, and can we can we do that? It is not about I don't want these films can be you know uh, frankly, men, I really avoid with many of the feminist films because they are saying everything is, is extremely boring, huh? Because it is it's not a question of saying all the ticking the all the politically correct terms. So it is it is more interesting if if things are complicated for me. So, of course, Vazad Ali Shah will say, Main jaisa but he is then asking that go and ask uh, Victoria, Queen Victoria, whether she can dance. And, and he yeah. is dressed up as, you know, Radha and Krishna and, and also, you know, that his body is not normative. He is a, you know, large man. And, and, and the outcome is calling, oh, I hate that hat king, you know, what he is doing, he's singing, dancing, performing. Uh, but he does not drink, so he's not a not a debauch in that sense. So he's an artist, hmm? uh, and uh, so uh, very interesting things can happen. And it was was Ray the question? It was Ray making a queer film? I don't think so. I I, I personally no. think that it is it is uh, certain things at the level of performance that Amjad Khan brings it. And there is a certain amount of performance that he borrows from uh, Birju Maharaj uh, to do the various kinds of, you know, actions that that is there. So that, that is what is happening. That is yeah, picking up on that also. Ha, sorry, hello. I'm just uh, uh, responding to what Mojadis has said that that is perhaps is also uh, valid for any kind of feminist readings you do. It's better, you will find that the moment you reread it against the grain and against the kind of reading that has happened of the canonical text, mm-hmm. we come up with so many, I mean, the moment we have one perspective, one prism to look through, there are so many readings that actually opens up. Then actually the problem of quote unquote a feminist film, which, act, uh, which uh, 
only tries to fit into all the categories and all the all the agendas that one have yes agendas are important we know for uh, lobbying lobby making policy everything is important for a community or a population yeah 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 that is that is true but uh, again I, I will also not differentiate between say artwork whether it is uh, propaganda or not and etc but end of the day readings is uh, by nature the 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 act of reading is a retrospective act. It has happened. I'm reading it and I'm going back. That Absolutely. has to be open. I mean, I know that this is a feminist film. That's why I'm celebrating it. Or I have read it. And I would agree with Moduja that I'm, am I re reading, say, for example, Satranjki Kilari as a film made by Shotko Jitrai with a clear vision of, of a queer cinema? I'm not going to read it like that. Of course. And to read a queer film, I don't all or any 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 kind of film. I don't think I always need a tag that that I have to have a feminist film. That is why I'm going to read it as a feminist film. Uh, and, and that's also the fun of reading classic always. You will yeah. see all the classic literatures and films and everything that you read and go through. And more and more you equip yourself with further theoretical arguments or nuanced arguments or anything that you have. In retrospect, the moment, I mean, you read one literature, one piece of literature, uh, when you were, uh, say, uh, say eight, nine, or ten years old, then you reread it when you are thirteen. Then you reread it when you are in twenties. When you reread it when you are forty, it it all the readings, you know, different readings are are possible. It can happen. Different meaning making is possible. So yes, I I guess uh, this this as a scholar, as a practitioner, uh, I mean, academic practitioner, this this is one practice. But this is this is something that I would uh, rather uh, prefer than. You know, I know this is, and, and problem with Ayokane, that you know that this is a queer film, you know this is a feminist film, and then you watch it and you actually do not know how, what else to say. Everything has been said, everything there. So, uh, yeah. So, like, oh, but, I'll, there are some. A, a big film that stands out for me, it's not an Indian, it's, it's not an Indian film, of course, but. Um, there is this film that claimed to be very queer and properly queer and you know all of that but queers when they grew up they didn't really like it so it is blue is the warmest color queers queer women women loving women started to realize that no I don't know to hai na. <laughs> once see because that was like for for, for us for like we, we were what 18 19 uh, 17 16 we thought oh this is how it is for to be me then when we became ourselves, we were like, but this is not how it is to be me. And then we realized that, oh, it is apparently checking a lot of boxes, but it's actually not. So this whole expectation that, and the, the expectation that we had from the images that we saw in blue is the warmest color about the reality that we had not lived was completely wrong. I don't know if that made sense, but <laughs> so like, Apparently, you know, it's on the palm de or and there's, there's two women, they're beautiful, it's, it's, it's a coming of age film and all of that. But it isn't like that, is what we all thought. And then we realized, and we grew up, and then we went to film school, so we, we studied film studies, and then we studied film, feminist film theory and all of that, and we realized that, oh, a man made it. A cis het man thought that's how two women do it. And th thereby the sex scene became entirely pornographic. Most, of course, again, as I said, I'm not going to get gatekeep. That's what I and some of my friends also discussed and we discussed uh, Blue is the Warmest Color. We always think that. From there, when I think of Ek Ladki Ko Dekha to Aisa Laga, we had so many expectations. Oh my God, that old song is coming back as, a, as, a, as two chicks, you know, in love. And I went and I saw Sonam Kapoor holding hands with the, uh, this other actress and I said, Aisa Tomei Pnei Bhen Ka Bhi Haat Nei Pakkar. It's so distant. Like, where's the love? I can't see it. So we again arrived with all these expectations because the film, film said that, you know, I'm going to be a queer, queer main, mainstream film. I'm going to show you two South Asian women of a certain city, of a certain space in love with each other. And then we were like, uh, uh, no, <laughs> we've been doing it from before it was legal and that's not how it is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is something that was going on in my head when I was thinking about uh, everything that both of you were saying. I think it's also because I have a personal... Um, personal grudge against Ek Ladki Ko Dekha Tasa Laga because I had a lot of expectations and it didn't meet quite a few of them. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that. 
So, um, what's the time? I think at 45, we will open the, yeah, we have five more minutes to chat with each other. Then we will like start addressing questions. So, I think uh, is there anything else that both of you want? We, I mean, do you want to start? I don't know. I mean, Unless, of course, we can chat a little more because I haven't chatted with either of you in a long time. So, I I must say this one thing. I remember, you know, I, I remember when I first met Madhu Jadi and I had told her that, you know, what do I tell my parents? I'm queer because I wasn't out to my parents at the time. And she said, but why do you have the burden to say it? You just are. And that really stayed with me because I said, yeah, without telling them, I just am. So, it's not really a compulsion that I have to tell them. I'm, a, I'm an adult. I have a life. My, I mean, my cis het so-called counterparts are not talking about their bedroom activities with their parents. So why must I? Why do I have this burden? Again, that's also a, sort of a privileged position to take, I understand. But that made sense to me because both of us were speaking from, the, from a very similar position, a similar social position. So that also, in a way, sometimes in queer films, I see characters being pressurized to sort of even like, you know, homonormativity is also a thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's the, even that's when the you're, thing. And uh, I mean, it's unbearable. It's, it's um, in some of the films which, uh, um, you know, um, want to tick all the right boxes uh, are, yeah. are really, really unbearable. Whether it is, whether it is about uh, women's uh, sexuality, about men's sexuality, about women, women, men, men. And and uh, both ways, uh, whatever. When they are trying to represent, the problem is also in the language. You know, like Pradeshu uh, was saying that uh, they, hmm? as 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 soon as he used the word they, there is us and them. So uh, the us still remains the you know heteronormative. So uh, I wish you know it was uh, English was more like. Uh, uh, in Bangla, we have less gender-specific expressions. Uh, yes, yeah, and, so lovely. And I wish to, it could have been like that because uh, um, as soon as we begin Ora, then Amra Ora comes in. So uh, most films are, are trying to be like, you know, uh, the casting, the gestures, everything, everything is, is, is problematic. Even, even for simple things like uh, certain feminist actresses performing uh, femi feminist stuff and, and um, like uh, doing sets on screen and uh, I mean they have done it all their life right still it is all wrong so uh, it is it is it is uh, a certain ways in which you represent that ye logo ko samaj bhi nahi aega ye, ye sensor mein problem hoga and, and there are there are many 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 things that that go into these kind of construction and, yeah. and i guess yeah the all these films and and the scenes uh quote unquote the bold scenes etc that are yeah. <laughs> the, the one of one of the most uh, 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 visible problems with uh, with with these films are that that the performers are also perhaps uh, and and uh, same with the uh, with the director maybe that they are perhaps not yet uh, sure as to how to how to see look at uh, say for I mean I don't know how many of us are even comfortable looking at ourselves nude I mean how many of us uh, actually undress and uh, see ourselves in front of a camera I mean in front of my, in front of the mirror. So looking at a body, being comfortable with the body, the notion of performance in that fashion is also important because in most of the cases, what I find that the, that, that the voice and the body, the performance, the, uh, these two things actually do not sink in. I mean, when I'm speaking, I mean, when I'm talking uh, in, in, uh, in the most romantic, erotic way, that tone and ways of speaking doesn't actually fit in the way it should sink in with the bodily performance. It doesn't. Maybe the problem with the dubbing, maybe it is happening later on or something or the other. Uh, no, also so, actors and social beings, you know. So, social beings, that's why, that's why. And that's what I'm saying that, that uh, yeah, yeah. The, the moment we work within, I mean, if we imagine a cinema within mainstream, there will be some problems. I mean, if, the, if, if I ask that I want this cinema, 
if i say i want a feminist film from mainstream mm. problems will remain because it has to tag itself as feminist so all the check box needs to be filled instead if i'm thinking it's almost like a marketing strategy mm. then it's not no longer the and, and of course yeah. the new 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 company yeah other strategy. than yeah just to just to add so instead of actually looking for a queer film or a feminist film uh, or a political film we should yeah. try and look at uh, uh, what were the cases who were the people yeah. if you stop looking at the director and if you look at let's say um, uh, you know what javed akhtar wrote who was a let's say a communist then you will suddenly find that there are certain you know left uh, and um, issues addressing class which are there in the range of popular films or or the question of of gender mm. or the question of women you will suddenly find that a uh, way uh, like i didn't mention so the writer of um, satranj ki khilari is sama yadi yeah so as soon as they think that it is not satranjita but sama yadi is writing for let's say we are putting the words for logically it makes a difference and you you get it in a new light you films are not be i mean films are not being made to to uh, for us to write papers yeah uh, or to to say like Absolutely. oh god i need a film to teach in women studies or queer studies no or like i do get a lot of phone <laughs> calls like that that act a queer film ball na i mean am kotha to queer film ball do kena ball do to to uh, find it find find try to read read between the lines try to ask that uh, uh, how is it possible that in the in the history of uh, uh, in the making of cinema were uh, is there no queer uh, person uh, is there is there no have have there been nobody who is being clear uh, so where where do these cases go they leave their yeah. cases in many things like Uh, to give you another example, the films, the earlier films of of Ritu Bharna Ghosh, uh, you know, the films which are not yes. dealing with the question of fear, you will see that the body gestures of someone like Koshanji is completely different. Like Koshanji, thake, absolutely. Oh, 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 lamma lamma bolo ha ki bolle, chotri, or that thore dariya. Ha. Which man does that? Um, can you think in a mainstream way? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah why in a mainstream in your house the uh, does your uncle who the um, or your whoever who you wait me uh who khate chote mere dari to shone kotha bolbe this is not a gesture this is a gesture of the director which the actor has picked which is there yeah. in a actually a film Absolutely. about about a heterosexual couple uh, you know dosho dosho significant actually uh work to bring in question of queer in popular mainstream discourses hmm? uh and that is very important uh, i think uh, it's not a point whether he made great films there are only few handful of like it you know think about the great films uh so it's not a question of great films but it is a question of uh that in in the bengali public sphere uh The mothers yep. started talking about the question of fear. So there are many Demon, interesting things. Yeah, bolo bolo. Sorry, I'm cutting you. Sorry. Am I eta thega actually mona pollo? Uh, so, um, uh, body wali the like when people are thinking of queer films by Ritu Parno, where they think only think of the last few, right? Yes. But body wali has a queer character and everybody misses it. Proshan no character to niye nobody talks about Proshan no. Proshanno, because uh, there's a dream sequence where Kiran Kher is. Uh, uh, there's this wedding sequence, or you know how seven, according to Hindu uh, hin- Hindu uh, religion, they have to be fertile, not widows, and all of that. All of that, 
all of these labels are put in and filters are put in these women have to go around the bride and tarpor gai holud hobe that's what the ritual is and one of the women in the dream sequence is prashanna and and nobody talks about that you yeah. know what i mean like nobody is talking about that queer character because the narrative was not largely queer it was not Precisely, about actually that's uh, what i'm saying uh, uh, main, yeah 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 so you have to play yeah. detective <laughs> we really have agreed Yeah. So oh God! Yes, it is. Objectives uh, in trying to. Like go high. Yeah. The <laughs> eta ki kore hotche, eta ki ke kotche. Research, you will see that a picho na ki wek ta acha, the character ta na, the maker. You know, some kind of uh, you know element has gone into into that uh, kind of. A, let's say Saroj Khan choreography of Madhuri Dixit Bhagwa. This a woman is not queer. Oh. Can anybody imagine that kind of uh, you know physical pleasure? Is it possible? Yes, absolutely. I don't think so. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, and then that for dhak dhak take it. And also when sir, we see Saroj Khan choreographing, you know, there's this. Extreme androgyny in Saroj Khan. Yes, absolutely. I don't know. I see it. I I see like, that when they're standing I, I and singing. I say, huh? Yeah. So yeah, sorry. I see that. It, no, no. That's I agree, and we can touch each other. But I totally think <laughs> there is an androgyny in in the way she moves, talk, behaves, and and the you know sort of a uh, hypersexualized kind of a dance movements for women which that she does. And and also at times, also like I have this opinion, and I yeah, sorry, tell me. Programs and in reality shows when he uh, she would come, uh, she would also perform yeah. and show that you know, I mean, when I I show it like this, I I uh, directed like this, and then she'll perform, and the confidence with which she's uh, oh my god, yes, used to do at the end even. Uh, It's just yeah. Yeah, I think we are ready. Oh, we've gone far beyond forty-five while chatting, so we'll invite Jayati now. Yeah. So uh, Jayati is basically the founder of our collective. She founded our collective two years back. We had a nice little three-day event, and um, it was her conception, her idea. And during the pandemic, we all queers we thought let's let's get back to each other and let's revive something that isn't really dead. So um, yeah, uh, Jayati is going to. Jayati is currently a postgraduate student at Azim Premji University. She is studying development, but she is always, always, and actually sometimes more vocal about queer phobia than I am. And that that does exist. That does happen. So I'll invite her over uh, with her set of questions. And where are you, Jayati? We need to find Hi. you and send you to the chat. Hi. Uh, yeah. Thank Hi. you so much, Diyadi, and all. Actually, thank you both, Madhujadi and Shejuti, Di, for like such a great, insightful discussion. I mean, it was it was like really amazing because we really talked about a lot beyond what we usual what our usual understanding of queer film theory, and there is very less discussion about it also. So I like I'd like to really thank you for giving us this time. So we'll directly go to the question. So Shyamji, uh, the you spoke about the representation through the mainstream. So this is a very interesting question, which is talking about that as a result of the COVID, the platform of viewing cinema has changed. It has more became now kind of a OTT platform. So how can we navigate cinema portraying queer narratives, especially with COVID nineteen making the box office collection a little? if not like a little irrelevant right now i mean in context of how we are viewing the mainstream understanding of cinema how 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 are we uh, going to find those films yeah yeah navigate yes see, this is interesting because this ott platforms have the individual ott platforms they have their own uh, archiving um, uh, mechanisms right i mean how how are you going to browse them some uh, categorize it on the basis of genres very 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 uh, loose uh, uh, loosely uh, uh, connected in that sense that one film may appear in a comedy may even appear in a thriller may even appear in a melodrama or something like that and uh, etc but once again this is this is perhaps what we have been talking about this is perhaps what modujadi was also uh, uh, you know stressing upon is that is that 
I don't know if I could if I could uh, actually uh, think of any keywords and then search and then we'll get a concrete result of of uh, of say a list of queer films. Other than the fact that yes, there are some films which are marketed, which are uh, we or which are which already is in the canon, and then we try to look for it, either find it or don't find it, then have uh, you know uh, browse through other uh, other platforms, etc. That is uh, that is that is one that either I know it or I I search for lists. That this is perhaps what we do most of the times when we run out of the kind of films we want to see. Then we try to uh, try to give a search of let's say the last great or a greatest fifty of this kind of films. Then we see a list and then again we watch. We may like it or we may not. That is one way of doing it. And the other way is of course there is a canon. There will always be a canon and follow the canonical. Uh, films, the ones that you have heard, your peer group, through your peer group, through, through your uh, friends, through your texts, etc., etc. You can do that. Another thing that that actually can be interesting, perhaps, that if 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 I am so motivated to read a film as a queer film or something, maybe I start I start looking up for films that that that. Uh, that even other, I mean, if, because queer film is not, is not a genre, is, is not a genre, right? It is, we are trying to call it a queer film, keeping in mind that it perhaps addresses some kind of, uh, some issues relating to the queer communities and queer life and et cetera, and has that perspective. That is, that is also important. So maybe, uh, yes, we, and, and for that, I'm not sure whether any platform will give me that, will give me that, uh, you know, keyword, will give me that filter to look through. Uh, when we are browsing through this uh, OTT platforms, we have to solely depend on what kind of films are we getting there. There, perhaps we may, but but I guess movie etc. Uh, at least in movie, we have seen that uh, the festival uh, uh, films are being shown, and and uh, uh, and uh, people do get. And I guess I guess if you have a, 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 an institutional email ID, you can have a free subscription there. They are allowing that movie, I guess. And we can watch those films from there. Uh, but other uh, commercial OTT platforms like Netflix, uh, etc., uh, I don't know if they have a, a, a filter through which we can find. But what we can do is, yes, uh, from our peer group, we can find a method. And of course, we can we can uh, use uh, our search engines in our own way, like like uh, use that in uh, I mean the keywords. Uh, and 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 search the films may may go for the list and then give it a try perhaps we may not like all the films like I mean I can search the last uh, you know 50 great feminist films but I'm sure I'll uh, the list that comes I'll, I'm, I'm sure I'll hardly like five of them but again okay, okay but uh, I mean if, if I'm watching I'll, I'll I'll give it a go I'll I'll try to watch that film and see what what I come across perhaps yeah. thank you so uh, I'd like to ask of you can like answer this question but this is also something related to mainstream so this person is asking uh, do we want only as artists or creators to unpack cinema through queer lens or do we require broader public to do the same and when we are asking this question how much is the later more more important especially in a diverse country like india and uh, other question is uh, if we already have a shared understanding of what queer lens is, is there any possibility uh, for the community to evolve with an own understanding of subculture? The person gives an example of OPA within K-pop. I'm not really quite well versed with it, but yeah, these are the two questions that any of you can answer. If, if Mobujati would like to go. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I would say we are the public and um, and, and a substantial number and I like to believe that most people are queer and uh, uh, we do behave uh, within the norm uh, but uh, most people are queer in their uh, own way but I uh, so uh, when we talk about subcultures and to be able to you know um, find the queer lens, I think uh, queer lenses could be another way of of uh, describing it. That uh, there is a possibility of uh, 
uh, having many approaches and and uh, i try to look at at the the, the oddities you know that yahan pe kuch khatak raha hai like uh, mm. they are pretending to be heteronormative but it is not you know uh, like the films of um, joy after uh, and rima patti and uh, um, in the bombay talk is uh, series her horror section where this uh, little boy wanted to be you know the a female dancer not a dancer but a female dancer like lila kujawani uh, and he performs so uh, you you know that the maker uh, is 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 so uh, involved with this should that one could think of 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 of, uh, of a film like that so possibly i uh, you know there are many approaches and we must not forget that uh, we are part of the public and 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 uh, uh, what uh, can be done actually i think after so many years that we cannot reform the whole world we can earn respect for ourselves yeah that uh, like you don't say these things in front of uh, her uh, or them uh, like in my office let's say it is accepted that uh, um, there is of course a joke uh, which runs like uh, oh wo to main aao to mujhe ja so mujhe is a category you know in in my office and um in in that regard they they exchange a lot of male jokes and all that and i i i treat them as men and object of study so i i don't care much um and uh, however uh, they do know that mujhe thakle eta bola jaye uh similarly we have to earn you know and the law allows that ki ek kotha ta bola jaye um uh, and that is important uh, other than that i don't do not think in the near future at least in, in my lifetime the world is going to change i hope in in generations and others who are far younger to me in their life uh, things change uh, but even if things don't change we have to have to have a uh, like like something that i like about let's say the dialogues festival is that it happens when it began to happen in Three, and with the presence of uh, the you know um, uh, transgender people in that you know very centrally located to the mahal, something very volatile was happening. And then I was wondering that both of them, Malikra, you know, how did they, how did the owner allow a festival like this? But you, when you meet the the owner. you know uh, so uh, uh, yeah uh, i think uh, a we are the public b is that uh, there are many clear lenses and uh, uh, we will have to be open to apply multiple lenses and have a prismatic and you know prism prism to be so the rainbow light and uh, we have to have all these colors and more and uh, yeah and and uh, earn this position where if hum ne ka bola jaye na the more the people are like that the better it is yeah. and sometimes when they got that you are the kill joy but i actually love that I mean, I I think I'm pretty funny, so I think I have a good sense of humor. I don't think I need that sense of humor that hurts me, or insults uh, my my peer group, or insults anybody's identity or anything to be somebody's idea of fun. If oh yeah uh, yeah if my uh, me being serious uh, or or me uh, you know intervening means that I'm spoiling something. let it be double matter so you just you just don't do it on my watch you don't do to me you just do, you also don't do it to people i know i love or 
even i don't know but it, it's happening in front of me that is one it is it and is what is yeah what is important yeah. is the visibility visibility what is, yeah. the, what is important is that uh, the as opposed to denial is the question of visibility i would say and uh, to be able to say that okay that is clear that is and and also uh, perhaps what modu jadi says i i absolutely do not disagree and i rather i i would agree that yes it's it, it will start with me because i do not consider myself beyond or or outside of that public so that is one but at the same time i also think i mean i'm, I'm just uh, i'm just adding to that i i also think that the the nature of the public is also not as as innocent and uninformed and stupid as we think it is not public it is possible i mean just think about think absolutely. about absolutely uh, sorry absolutely yeah yeah mm-hmm. and, and 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 the see see for example the film that modija is referring to if you if you uh, refer back to any films those films uh, were commercial films it say say uttam jyoti chatrobi it it came out as a uh, commercial films people then watched it so there's no point in saying that you know uh, people now wouldn't understand that people now wouldn't people would but people would that is also the case people people are adults people make informed choices so at some point of history people decide not to make some informed choices or rather uh, they are pretty informed and making some stupid choices they will and i yes. have that faith and this faith is is i'm using in a in a in a as a critical concept in the sense that this faith is not that i have faith that people will someday rather yeah. i have faith that if people ha- has done something today which is a problematic that means that it it has the possibilities to do something uh, better the next day uh, if my mother is not being able to accommodate certain things i have seen my grandmother does but and that is that is how it yeah. is it is not unilinear that one generation didn't under the next generation did not necessary i mean people yeah. of our age you will find that we we vary i mean mohujadi was my teacher but not necessarily all the female teachers i had uh, were were uh, were uh, perhaps i mean i, I don't have that friendly relationship uh, with with all my teachers some of the teachers still maintain that very guru like relationship uh, on the other hand from day one when when she she was my teacher and all and i i i wouldn't i wouldn't i'm necessarily uh, would uh, wouldn't even uh, discredit some of the male teachers even i had that you know we we had and 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 and, and we had that fun you know when we were studying we 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 were very much friends like and when when i also started working you know even even jovially they would say they were you were my student but you were also my colleague in the, in that sense that you you have entered into this uh, larger uh, profession uh, in in some other colleges perhaps you are teaching so yes i mean our at, at the same time we have seen teachers who are very rigid who are very you know this yes. rigid relationship it still continues and etc that is why i would say yes we are the people at the same time the people who are mm, who uh, who at present is incapable of thinking we think but i would say that i would perhaps like to believe that they are not being incapable of thinking rather they are thinking in a certain order and if we keep on resisting if we keep on asking and if and asking for yes. this is something very interesting like if somebody comes and tells you don't do this it is it, you cannot do this the moment you ask why most of the time they don't have answers actually that you do yeah. <laughs> okay i will not let's say yeah. i did whole hand just tell me why you don't have and th- those answers are very vague because you are not supposed to say most of the cases i mean when it comes to gender choices sexual choices uh, etc i just remember um, i because uh, when i was in uh, teaching in zavier's i think mm-hmm. around that time when i was about to leave um, um, during the um, admission some uh, parent came in and he said that uh, do you like black so this can call black uh, which is about you know amitabh bachchan rani mukherjee that so uh, i was like now i kind of i have critical views about that film so i was i wasn't sure how to say that you know that um, like because a lot of films that uh, people think are great films uh, like let's say three idiots uh, i don't like it much and so on and so forth so um, i said yeah i mean there are interesting things that happen in in black so how can um the teacher kiss the student you know that is blasphemy 
and frankly it that sequence did not uh, register to me as any kind of oddity right so i didn't even really think of it uh, as something an important thing to be discussed or discredit the film so uh, and he got so angry about that film then i started to defend the film and and so on and so forth so uh, what you do is saying that uh, you know that uh, uh, that when somebody is is cannot let's say if he is homophobic that is also a choice like i mean choto chale innocent tabi homophobic erokom byapar ta no je amar bari ke kono din orokom dekhi ni tai jonno ami homophobic it is a choice yeah uh, however what i am trying to say is that uh, uh, like i say you know that tax payer bole na facebook pe and all these discussion go on tax payer er taka why are the students doing politics So I keep saying I am a taxpayer, and I want my students to do politics. Yeah. In the same way, I say that I am also a public, and I want queer films, you know. And so, um, where is my share of where is my share of films as a being part of the public? That's what I'm trying to say. That uh, and also have... read your favorite film as a queer film. Now deal with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. We could do something about that. Actually, a project around that. You yeah, know, because all the, uh, all the all the films that we are talking about, or Bodhuja is talking about, or any of our favorite films, they they are, those are also uh, big hits. They are favorite films of many people who are perhaps not comfortable with with many ideas. I mean, shottu jitra pochonda korin na. Ero ko manush kajo na. I mean, but but the idea is, why do you like him? Do you like his films? Okay, yes. Then the moment you read the, those films in a particular fashion, you don't like that reading. You like to read that. Film in your own terms. Okay, fine. You do that. I have my readings. I'll do that. I'll just turn the table. Now, just deal with it. The confrontation should be like that. I mean, if you if you see if you mm. want to hammer na at times, at least uh, there are some people who are. You will find that there are some people who are not that vindictive per se, but they are rigid in the sense that they cannot change and it shocks them. Absolutely. It, it perhaps yeah. it perhaps shakes their identity. It perhaps Shakes their uh, their their. What do you call it? I mean, fine, which is mathi noda, guys. Something like that. Hmm. So for them, hmm. perhaps this hammering is important. You know, keep and 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 also tell them that you know I am also part of you. I am also this part of the collective, and this is also a reading that is possible. Give it a go. Yes. And the more and more we have such readings, along with the different kind of films, if if it's possible, perhaps yes, yes perhaps something can yeah, be. You know. Um, I mean, of course, the next question is coming up, but I'll just. I think um, not not just queers, but anybody who is not a cisgender heterosexual man, we have to grow up and become zero tolerance bodies. Like uh, we have to become zero tolerance bodies. We have to say this. Nah, ita bolbe na. Ita ama ke bolbe na. Ita ekhane bolbe na. And to, sometimes it almost feels exhausting because the you know the minute somebody. We are like queer perspective is in every debate. Okay, they're like, oh, a man usta ache, it o queer. Mane queer kotha baat hai bolge. Like Vikram Aditya Sahai always enter the debate and says, please don't call me the trans perspective in the debate. I am my own perspective, and that can be trans, but that can also be beyond trans. This don't use me as a token representation, you know. So sometimes in in family yeah, structures, yeah. I've seen we we become like this token catalyst to. ट्रेंडरेंटेशनिटली Uh, because men somehow have a problem; they don't have ears. Uh, I mean, the ears, the yeah. heteronormative men uh, are are without ears. So, like there are there is uh, such a huge problem, and I've been so, and and sometimes I think, yeah, fine, I am happy with the token. So, wait and see now what happens. So it is like that. So <laughs> I I grab all opportunities of you know where where that token is there that. फाइन वेट एंड सी सो आई आई 
uh, so we have to be strategic also. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Just enter the structure and go like, this is why you invited me now. Here's what I present. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Okay, moving on. Moving on to the next yeah. question, Jayati. Yeah, so since we're already talking about tokenism and like kind of representation and around that topic, I'd like to ask Shejuti uh like, say, as we are seeing that a lot of queer films are coming up, we're also seeing there is a sense of appropriation of the queer culture by the heterosexual gays. So even if we're seeing queer uh, uh, narratives or queer characters, uh, they are also coming from a very heterosexual perspective. So how to also see that, and again, c capitalism is also playing a very important role in infusing that sense that we are giving you queer, queer narratives, take it. This is how you should take it or else not. So how to actually like understand this uh, discourse maybe? Yeah. Uh, see, I do not have any answer to this in the sense like the moment we ask how to, the problem is you, you are also, we are also perhaps, uh, we ask this question more often, but we also perhaps at that moment are looking for a solution at that moment. And in most of the times we cannot immediately come up with a solution. But one thing that should be, and this is something that we should always be aware of, one thing that we should keep in mind is that we have to be aware. We have to be aware that whatever is happening is happening within a dominant discourse, within the mainstream uh, uh, you know, the ideologies that, that are at function. So the moment, and that is why perhaps I, I always, I will never forget that what, what Uber did to me. I, I, thought, I thought it was, it, was, it was a joke actually. I mean, what was it? No, the mo you you just spend uh, a minute. I mean, over 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 a night. I mean, uh, you 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 cannot just simply uh, do this and tell me that you suddenly uh, suddenly see it as as a marker of celebration. I mean, uh, uh, there were there were huge flags. Uh, there were huge flags on in the Pride March, and that has been that has been there for 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 few years. I mean, what have you done? And uh, the, when when Kolkata has its own Pride March. When, when other cities have their own pride march, if you want to do the tokenism, do it on that day. Why won't you do that? That at least make your maps, uh, you know, on, uh, on rainbow color and, and guide people to uh, arrive at, at, the, at the rainbow pride. I'll be more than happy. So you needed, you needed a particular act to be repelled and then, uh, then you suddenly give me this thing. And we have to, we have to be, we have to be very, very careful there. I'm not saying that, you know, the moment you come up with this, I, 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 I'll stop using Uber. I can stop using Uber. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll take Ola or I'll, I'll take uh, a, a yellow cab. Doesn't matter. End of the day, this, this problem remains. This problem stays. And there is no how to solution to it. But one thing that, that for me is that I have to be continuously being aware. If I'm being sold something, if, if a product is being sold to me, all of a sudden today, in a very naturalistic way, that as if this identity is, is something that already exists and it's so beautiful and etc., I would ask that it's not only beautiful. I mean, I will keep asking. I mean, I know that I, I want to see certain representation, but the moment they, they, they show us uh, those bodies, those characters, those communities in a particular commercial ad or something, I will still ask the question that why this body? Why, why, uh, where is the, because what, what happens is mainstream always tries to present a very homogeneous idea of an identity, right? Of a community. A woman is this, a queer person is this. That is why if we keep asking the, the, I wouldn't say that we will be successfully be able to resist, but at least what I can do is if I keep asking that, okay, you have, you have given me an advertisement of, of, of a pro product with, uh, with, uh, quote unquote uh, visible performative queer people. Fine, I will, I will, I will, I will keep resisting even then and say that this is not the only way off. And that is where the question of this couplehood also comes in. That that when we started our discussion, Priyadarshini and Modujadi also pointed out that that uh, the moment you you say, for example, uh, you you are selling jewelries. So I know what you will do. You will see, uh, you you will just show me two women in love. Perhaps they are getting married and, and they're again wearing the same jewelries and coming out like the yes. bride. Uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to add on this uh, because yeah. uh, uh, the 
about about the marriage market also because see what we understand both the question of feminist movement and the queer movement uh, first we have to understand that the film is a commercial product you know like somebody has invested 20 crores and wants 40 crores back or 50 crores and wants a 100 crores back so the, this, this somebody wants a profit of offer so these uh, one of the ways of operating is to divide the markets like you you want feminist stuff yes. okay mm -hmm. feminist stuff and uh, women's sexuality you want queer okay fine there is there is there is a uh, you know uh, we will give you a, a you know like a like a like a package d like a package two it will arrive in fact uh, if if queer marriage you know, is is uh, uh, you know becomes uh, acceptable by the law i think the marriage market would be happiest i have happy. seen this fashion uh, yeah websites where they're so happy to send two bridal gowns can you imagine like it's double profit mm -hmm. huh? so um, same with it you know that uh, um, like shiriti and me are getting married both are wearing loads of jewelry and and um, whatever suppose like double of us <laughs> yeah so it's a double sales and they would love it so we have to understand like we we need a critical mind we need for for every issue we need a critical mind like you know in the film fully amita bachchan takes up a hammer and sickle and you know he makes a, a symbol of of the communist mm -hmm. flag so uh, now was manmohan desai a communist no but he is borrowing a, a popular sort of a symbol of the period yeah. and he is making these this figure who is a, he understands basically the class question that okay garibo ko khana milna chahiye roti kapda makan milna chahiye so isko ye de do ye acha lagega it's, it's a nice uh, sexy symbol so there are many things uh, the market will offer you, you know they will i i have seen in the airport yeah uh, lgbt sandwiches it's what it's <laughs> yes uh, i'll tell really? you um, yeah l is for lettuce i think and i've forgotten the rest uh, so it's, it's like a blt uh, sandwich bacon lettuce and that it's like yeah that. yeah 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 oh yeah, yeah oh yeah oh yeah i know what you're talking about yes yes yeah so it, it will happen it will happen and and so we we have to really have a critical mind that that uh mm. that uh, what is being offered that i will uh this is a it has to be we have to be really strategic you know in in many ways uh, and that's why it has to be a movement that's why it has to be uh to do the strategy you need people you need movement you need need to team up and plan and you know yeah um, to understand that uh, that that uh, okay fine um uh, you offer us this uh, we will take this part so um, it is it is uh, like no point uh, arguing i would say that there's no point arguing with the uh, uh, guy who is at the counter asking the to me can lgbt sandwich biki kochcha ka no biki kochcha na he is poor kochcha ta ka jiyesh kar so those are the uh, you know that's why we that's why we are having this discussion because we need a critical lens to be able to look at everything absolutely okay what's Thank our next you. question and so this will be the <laughs> last question for the day and so the person is asking uh, for your for your opinion on the characters man and firas being portrayed as friends in mira nair's recent mini series a suitable boy so uh, I, i have so many opinions uh, on this i have so many opinions on this question but uh, unfortunately i cannot i don't think i can comment because i haven't seen it i have also I've so priya darshini can answer i've seen it I, yeah, I yeah. Seen it. Yeah. yeah so yeah so of course i am not going to be able to speak so critically i might not be able to cite a lot but i'll give you my opinion my two cents on this which most men use now i'll here i'm giving you my two cents so i will take that hijack that uh so of course i saw it and i was like they are absolutely queer <laughs> i'm sorry i'm queer i saw that i was like they're queer there is no way that these two boys are straight they are not straight they are queer i don't know if they're queer as fuck but they are queer so um 
I mean, I still remember there was this scene when uh, Man has just come back from this uh, rural visit. He went to visit somebody and learn Urdu and all of that. He's very dreary because he's uh, lat lat with chile. He's very dreary. He's gone to the village. He's come back, and Feroz is actually uh, like Feroz and Man. You know, when you think of a normative cisgender heterosexual couple in mainstream, other actor headboard ache khater and the one person. the man is sitting and then the woman is like that feroz and man are literally seen like that so again like modujari was saying the gestures it, you don't always have to say that they're queer it's the gestures it's it's yeah. the way of the hand moves it's the way they hold each other it's the way that these bodies are entwined together or even sometimes it's the way that these bodies look at each other because I did not find. I I thought that was Mira Nair queer baiting throughout. I kept thinking that maybe uh, Vikram Sir didn't write it, but maybe they are going to show it on the mini series. I kept thinking that, but that did not happen. Even sorry to spoil it for some people who haven't watched it, which I know more than others. They have not no, watched no, it. No, no, but doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter, yeah. So um, in the end, actually, accidentally, Man stabs Feroz. and the minute that man stabs feroz and they look at each other it's not hate it's this obhiman it's this longing that you you stabbed me and it was not like oh my god you my friend stabbed me like if my partner or my romantic interest stabbed me i'd probably i don't know look at them like that you know what i mean so uh, it yes it was sheer queer baiting uh, again it's my opinion might differ i don't know how it will differ but uh, it was it was so obvious it was so so obvious like it was like almost like i was saying earlier you know ki bol do it's okay bol do it's fine you can say it yeah. we are not going to judge you it was like that and I, i kept wondering that you know because we don't see cis male cis het male bodies being so gentle and delicate with each other they usually so vile and pushing each other even as friends they're like fat kar ke matha mere dilo ba dhakka mere dilo ba bike uthe chale jaache and um uh so yeah i mean i i kept wondering that um maybe this is going to be some queer twist that mirana is bringing to vikram said um not so visibly queer literary text of course retrospectorship e gele ekhon aro onek khure khure bar kora jabe onek boro boi ekhon theke i'm pretty sure kichu na kichu berobe even the character of saida might i add saida is uh, saida does not need to sleep with a man or sorry sleep with a woman to say that she's queer saida is to me saida is like very very queer the way she is claiming her agency is very non normative and why does queer always have to be same sex desire why can't queer just be non normative you know uh, why why not because um, uh, i mean i think somebody is asking to be unmuted to ask i'm sorry that is actually uh, not permissible because of the time i'm really sorry but you can put in the question to us and we will forward it to the speakers or you and i can catch up a little later about this maybe so um yeah absolutely 100% man and feroz were so queer with each other the way they held each other the way they talked to each other uh, the the expectations that these two bodies had of each other and the of course not bodily but emotional expectations from each other it was not just friends we, they were not just friends let's put it like that not to the viewer not to the queer viewer at least no so yeah uh, jayati is there anything else that we are going to address today because it's been quite a long session yes yeah. i don't know yeah let's wind up yeah let's wind so up we'll uh, wrap up for today and i'd really like to thank everybody for joining us and also the speakers and especially priyadi for like like doing it so well so i'll ask priyadi to continue from here and thank you everyone thank okay you everybody okay i am i am perpetually in awe of both modujadi and shejati di uh, i have no qualms in saying that they're both my women crush every day so like i i had a lot of fun i had great fun chatting with <laughs> two academics that i thoroughly love and also people individuals not just not just academics so of course and i'm very grateful that you people agreed to come on board i know you have really really tight hectic schedules and i'm i'm just really happy that you guys just said yes <laughs> there was no question beyond that you were just scared, you were just we were just trying to figure out when it was never should i it was always when so thank you for that uh, so so thank much so love always. for that 
uh, so yeah uh, today we'll wrap up with that i guess so yeah i hope everybody enjoyed it we'll try and come up with something else next month uh, and uh, something queer again so yeah yes. uh, i'm going to uh, i'm going to end on that note a very big big thank you note and of course a huge shout out to the whole team of my pride for coming together again and pulling this off so yeah <laughs> thank you to our attendees and everybody we don't have any sponsors so that's that <laughs> okay bye, bye. Thank, thank you so you. much and see you again sometime later bye yeah totally bye. thank you okay. bye we'll wait for this to end we'll wait for the operations person to end it <laughs> <laughs>